Today's video will be about using the Autodesk portal to manage users and find downloads for the software. So imagine that you're the contract manager. We need you to log into the manage.autodesk.com website. So I have our contract manager's login info with me. So I'll log in as though I'm the contract manager. Alright, so when the contract manager logs in, they'll see the following splash page and they have a couple methods of assigning users. So depending on the kind of license that you have, there's a couple different things to keep track of. For single user licenses, you need to make sure that the users are listed and that they have permission to use the software of interest. So I'm going to go to user management here. So on this user management page, I can see the users that have been added to this list so far, and I can add additional ones as needed. So now I'm going to click this add button. Let's say I wanted to add for another user named Ross. I could type out the email that I expect them to use. And then if I click save and continue here, it says, I'd like to assign products to the user now. At this point, it will take me to a screen where I can assign any software of the single user license type. So this portal makes it easy to add users and to give them software permissions as you add them. Through this same management area, we can remove users or switch the permission settings. So if I decide that I just want one person named Ross to use it. I can look and see that I have a Ross assigned for Ross at CADmasters.com as well as r one at gmail.com and if I want to remove a user I can click the X to remove their name from the list or I can choose edit access to simply remove access to the software for that user. I want to entirely remove this user from the list so I'm going to click the X and remove them. It's commonplace to have a certain number of single user licenses, so you may need to edit access to remove the permissions from some users in order to add them to other users. In addition, the contract manager is automatically assigned permission to use the software. So if you're a contract manager, but you don't plan to use the software, you can remove permission from yourself to free it up to assign to another user. Let's double check to make sure that the other ROS was assigned the Revit LT suite. So you can click Edit Access here to make sure. And then I go down here through my software list and find the Revit LC suite and I see that it's checkmarked, which means it's assigned. So I'll say Save. This is what the contract manager would need to do for people who have a single user license type. There's other license types as well, such as Network and the old-fashioned standalone license. For network licenses, while you can assign permission, it's not a necessary step in the process. So for the multi-user licenses, you may be better off just logging in as contract manager, going to the download, and if you wish, setting up a deployment that you can employ from the network. The old-fashioned standalone license has a similar interface but it'll have a listing for your serial number and product key. So let's imagine that the contract manager has finished the process of assigning permissions. And now let's imagine what it would be like as the end user. So I'm going to sign out as a contract manager and sign in as the end user. So I make sure to sign in as the exact email that the contract manager assigned. Here I'll go to all products and services on the left. 
I can now see the default products that they give to people as well as the one that was assigned to me by my contract manager. If I scroll down, I can find the Revit LT Suite. Here I can click View Downloads and see the different download types provided to me. If I say View All right underneath Install Now, I see these different options such as Download Now, Install Now, and Browser Download. Install Now is the fastest method, but it doesn't give as much information if something goes wrong. Therefore, as a technician, I prefer the Browser Download. The Browser Download will divide it up into multiple parts so that if something goes wrong, I'll know which part gave the error. I'm switching it to Browser Download. One benefit of this browser download is that it'll tell you if your pop-up blocker is causing a problem. So I click browser download and I say start download. You'll notice I had an issue with my pop-up blocker. I'm going to click it and say allow pop-ups from this website and say done. Then when I go back to click browser download again and say start download. I get the download that I'll need from my Revit LT Suite. Once the timer runs out on these executables, I can click them. When that happens, it'll launch the splash screen for the installer. I may need to take a moment to extract the files before I get to the splash screen. Once I'm there, it'll be very friendly for explaining the process for moving forward. I can click Next and make my way through the install. If you run into additional problems, you can email us at support at cadmasters.com and we should be able to help you move along in the install process.